Hello and welcome to this video on how to calculate the cumulative sum or a running total in Excel. We will look at three different approaches to calculate the cumulative sum or a running total and the advantages of each. If you deal with any sort of daily data, you are likely to need running totals or cumulative sums. For example, if you track sales for each day, and you have data where each row consists of a date and a sales amount, you might want to know the total sales in a week or a fortnight or a month. This is where a cumulative sum or a running total will come in handy. This is a running total, sum of all sales up to and including the current day sales. In this video, we will look at three ways to calculate the running total or sum and the difference between these three approaches. We will be using the sum formula and the if formula to get the running totals. So let us start with the first approach. The first approach is the simplest approach but is a two step. Here we have the date and the daily sales and we have added a column here which will give us the cumulative sum of the sales up till that day. So in the first approach, what we will be doing is we will be saying for the first day, we will just be saying equal to and the sales for the first day. In the next day or the second day onwards, we will change this formula to say equal to sales for that particular day plus the cumulative sum till the previous day hit enter now we are done and if we are just drag this formula down we will see that it gives me the cumulative sum for each day so let us take an example to check it out say if i look at the 10th of may i see that 860 is the sum till of sum of sales till 10th of May and my cumulative sales column also gives me 860 so my formula is working as expected however there is one drawback with the simple formula for example if one of these cells or one of these rows gets deleted like this over here we have deleted the 9th of May then what happens is all this cumulative sum below that will for the formula will result in an error as you can see here in order to overcome this we will be using this second approach back here so in the second approach we will be using the sum formula we will start by writing the sum formula here equal to sum we will start by c4 so what this does is it is calculating the sum of the of the values in the cells from starting from c4 till c4 the range here as we copy and paste this formula down to the other cells we want the starting cell to be fixed and we can do that by pressing f4 like this now if we drag this down we will see now at the 10th of may it has summed up the total number total amount of sales from c4 till c13 as expected and it is giving me the same value of 860 so the formula is correct now let us see if the problem that we had uh, of deleting a cell whether this method is able to handle that problem or not again we will delete one of the rows and as you can see here we do not have that error here but here if you can see the first approach will still give you the error so this particular approach was able to handle 
the first problem where a cell or a row is deleted and but this approach still has one other drawback the drawback that this particular approach has is say for example i have sales for 15 days and if i drag this column say so for 17 columns even though i do not have any sales value here it is still returning me a cumulative sum which is something which i do not want in order for the formula not to return a cumulative sum if in situations where there are no daily sales figures available we will be using the third approach the third approach is basically an extension of the second approach but it's a little more robust so here what we have done so let me just get rid of this first so what we have done here is we have used the if formula and say that if there is no values in the sales column do not return anything if there is a value in the sales column return the sum till that cumulative sum till that point using the sum formula that we have just seen so let us try and write that again so we will start this third approach by saying equal to sum we will write the inner formula first as we always do because it's easier and we have written the inner formula we will fix this now what we wanted to do was write the outer if statement if this cell is blank then return blank if the cell is not blank then return sum so now we can just close this and we are almost done so till here it works perfectly till 15th of may let us see if i drag it a little more what happens see it does not populate the cumulative sum values here as we were seeing in the second approach say for example if i just drag this here it is giving me a cumulative sum but this one if i drag it here nothing so if there are no sales values here or no no values in the c column it will not return anything one more point to check is does this also handle the first problem that we see that we saw that is when a cell is deleted so let us just check that out as you can see the third approach has handled that situation as well where a, a particular row gets deleted so the first approach is giving us an error formula but the third approach is still giving us the accurate cumulative sum So these are the three methods for finding the cumulative sum or a running total in Excel. If you want to find the cumulative sum in a quick and easy method, you can go for the first method. But if you want something a little more robust, we would suggest that you go for the third method. The third method will handle a lot more error conditions better and is a lot more robust. Hope this video will be useful for you to create a running total column do let us know in the comments if you face any issues while trying to implement this method and as always thank you for watching and have a great day